Imagine you're preparing for the birth of your new baby. You've done all the planning, you've bought the best car seat, organized the best nursery, you've picked out the best hospital, nothing but the best for your baby. But what about mom? 800 women die from childbirth and pregnancy-related causes each day, and 96% of these deaths occur in low- and middle-income countries. The leading cause of maternal death is postpartum hemorrhage, which is the medical term for excessive bleeding after childbirth. Fortunately, it's almost completely preventable through the use of drugs like oxytocin. And in fact, oxytocin is so good at preventing maternal death, it's on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines. But the best quality oxytocin isn't available in all places, and that's where my research comes in. In 2011, our collaborators at the Moy Teaching and Referral Hospital in Eldorette, Kenya, noticed that their patients were not responding to oxytocin treatments. In some cases, women were given up to six times the normal dose of oxytocin, and they still couldn't stop their bleeding. This led to more women than ever requiring blood transfusions or dying from postpartum hemorrhage. Of course, the doctors and nurses were suspicious of their oxytocin quality, but they had no way to test it. They had to send it out for analysis. And months later, after dozens of women and families had already been affected, the lab results confirmed that the oxytocin was bad quality. And when you give women bad quality medicine, you're really not giving them medicine at all. This is a relatively common issue in some low and middle income countries where an estimated 10% of drugs are bad quality. One reason for this is a lack of widespread quality control testing. Pharmaceutical analysis is prohibitively expensive. It requires high-tech instrumentation, highly trained personnel, and expensive consumables that just aren't available everywhere. My goal is to make testing faster, cheaper, and more accessible. To do this, we're creating a low technology device so we can screen oxytocin before it's given to women. Our device is comprised of three parts. First, we've designed a strand of DNA that's able to find and bind oxytocin in good quality oxytocin only. Second, we're rigging this DNA strand with a fluorescent marker so that when it finds and binds good quality oxytocin, it lights up, giving us a clear on signal. And third, I'm attaching the strand of DNA to a small piece of chromatography paper, so we're left with a compact, transportable device that's sort of similar to a pregnancy test. So when we test our dosage forms, good quality oxytocin will light up our device, and bad quality oxytocin will not, letting us know we need to find a new supply. With our solution, medical professionals will have answers within minutes, not months, so we can ensure that women are getting the high quality, life-saving medicines that they deserve. Thank you.